Lawyers representing Aljunied Hogang Town Council and Sengkang Town Council were grilled by a court of five judges on their arguments depicting how Workers' Party leaders and well, had breached duties owed to the town council and misused millions of dollars of town council funds. WP's Secretary General Pritam Singh, Chairman Sylvia Lim and former Chief Lao Tia Kiang had appealed against the 2019 High Court ruling. Central to the hearing today was how they had waived a tender for a managing agent. Deborah Wong reports. The one-day hearing kicked up today with none of the fanfare in the 17-day trial more than two years ago. Lawyers as well as Workers' Party Chairman Sylvia Lim and former managing agent Hao Wing Fun attended the hearing via Zoom. At the crux of the arguments was WP's waiver of a tender when they set up EHTC after winning the election 10 years ago. Defence counsel for the WP MPs Chalva Raja argued that his clients are not fiduciaries of the town council. Instead, they owed statutory duties, which require them to act in good faith, a clause in the town council's act that provides immunity to town councillors. He quoted past parliament speeches, which said town councils must be given latitude to operate and recognise that they are political in nature. And this in turn set the stage as to why the MPs waived the tender for a managing agent. But the judges say the latitude given does not take away the need to call for a tender, since it's a statutory requirement. Counsel for then AHTC managing agent FMSS, another appellant in the case, said his client shouldn't be implicated. That says there was no evidence to show that the managing agent was involved in any decisions to waive the tender. Lawyer for HTC David Chan argued that the wrongful waiver of the tender lies at the core of the breach as all the losses or payments that were made to FMSS should be seen as originating from a breach to call a tender. The judges then questioned why Mr Chan did not ask the incumbent managing agent CPG to testify, as there was no evidence that they had wanted to remain in contract. The lawyer for Sengkang Town Council, which has taken over the suit from PRPTC, agreed that while Mr Lau may have had concerns about working with CPG, it was still necessary to work within the rules, regardless of political party. She highlighted that in spite of their concerns, CPG had remained working with the town council on other projects. The judges then questioned if this was realistic, given that the MPs had concerns that there could be a risk of sabotage. The judges will deliver the judgment at a later date. The suit will be dismissed if the defendants win their appeal. Otherwise, a second tranche of the trial will commence to assess the quantum of damages.